Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back. I have my lossy triple XS in front of me. It's sitting up on a book with the new shock absorbers drooping because the new springs haven't arrived yet. And I have made great strides towards my goal of never having to wear any clothes that don't have a motorcycle on them. Today, I have a bunch of stick transmitters because, as I said in my last video, I am looking to get a 2.4 GHz stick system on my Lossy Triple XS, which is still running an old 40 MHz system. This is the transmitter I'm currently running on it. It is a high tech Ranger 3 Sky. It's a pretty good transmitter. It has a number of features. It has obviously channel reverse, uh, both channels, one and two. It has dual rate on channels one and two. So I can adjust the steering and the throttle down a bit. Uh, obviously you've got trim settings, you always have trim settings. And it has the ability to put the throttle stick down. You see it's not in the middle. Um, you, you snap it down, it gives you... I, I like it like that when, I'm, when I have race cars. In fact really any RC because it gives you lots of progressive control. Uh, because it's more gradual. Um, I mean you, you don't lose any speed, it's just that you, there's more movement to get from 0 to 100, so you, you get better control. I, I just always like that. It's a, it's a nice little transmitter, and I've used it for years. Here you go, see, it's even got LEDs. Well, lights, maybe it's LEDs. Um, yes, pretty good. Not perfect though. Um, the build quality of this wasn't superb. The ability you, to set the, the stick back, like I said, you, you snap a little thing back here problem was it wasn't very secure and when you're applying throttle you used to snap forward again during a race and you'd have to snap it back manually during so I had to jam something in there to stop it doing that so that's not great also the battery door at the back has never really fitted properly but it's, it's all irrelevant really because I'm trying to replace it with a 2.4 gigahertz system but I wouldn't try and find a more modern equivalent of this because this although I like it is not my favorite it's pretty comfortable it's quite chunky it's not my favorite transmitter ever my favourite transmitter ever is the Acom's Techno Plus. I've said this before, there's a 27 MHz version, there was a 40 MHz version. This is my favourite transmitter ever, purely because of the ergonomics. It's so damn comfortable. See how round it is? It's got big chunky bits, and it's rounded. It's just so comfortable. And the, the sticks are metal, which I like, although that's not critical, but the point is the sticks have got a wide, they're wide at the top. They're actually wide all the way along, but critically they're wide at the top, so that it's less likely to bite into your thumbs. They just sit nice comfortably in it. Not really heavy on features, you've got channel one and two reverse. You also have the ability to set the stick back to give you more throttle control, but this one doesn't jump up. This controller is over 20 years old and it's perfect. The build quality is another really good point of this. There is no up and down play on the steering stick and no left and right play on the throttle stick even after all this time. Um, the only rattle comes from the aerial. Talking about the aerial, you screw that on, fine. 20 odd years old, still perfect. This one, you do the same, you screw it in and this is a newer transmitter. Uh, not still old but it's newer and the aerial mount broke and I had to repair it so not as well made. It's got everything you want apart from the dual rate. It's even got a nice carry handle, look at that. Um, I have literally no complaints about this transmitter, it's fantastic. So I tried to find a more modern replacement. First of all I tried, well actually first of all I tried Etronics Pulse stick system but it's exactly the same as this, just with blue stickers that say Etronics on it. Same transmitter completely. This is a Tamco model, it's okay, it's okay. Um, Reasonable build quality. Again, there's no up and down play on the, on the steering stick and no left and right play on the throttle stick at all. You do have a trim adjustment, but it's sort of digital rather than analog. So they sort of beep, 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 rather than, rather than sort of progressively and you leave it there, if that makes sense. Like this one, for example, you turn it and it stays there and you turn it and it stays there. That's how you do the thing. This one just sends a digital signal and goes beep, 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 beep. Anyway, um, it's okay. It's 
obviously this is subjective but it's not as cool looking it isn't as rounded it's not bad ergonomically it's okay it's a little bit heavy at the bottom end in terms of um bias the, the sticks are a bit far up considering these corners are quite quite fat and you can't i mean i've got slightly smaller hands than some people so it's okay but it's you know if you've got slightly bigger hands it would work better uh metal sticks again which is nice but not as nice as the ones on these on the on the technic plus again because thinner spiky bits bite into you slightly more and you cannot set the stick back so not bad but not quite there when I, when, I, when I'm racing a touring car, I always want the um, dual rate adjustment and I always want the stick setback. It's getting rarer and rarer to get that though. So it's not bad, but it's perfect for a basher, but it's not quite a racer thing. The other thing, the other thing I don't like about this one is in the battery tray here, there's actually a, a battery block that comes out, see that? And it's got a wee spindly little wire. Well, on my Etronics one, which is the same as I said, that wire broke, it corroded, the connectors corroded, I had to try and solder them back on. Um, not as good as just having the, the batteries, but you know, plugged straight in and there's none, none of that block nonsense. Okay, not bad. And then I tried the Carson Reflex 3.1. This was actually billed on the website, if you look at... Uh, Martin, it wasn't the Carson website, I don't think it was the Carson website, I think it was the Tamiya website. Because uh, Tamiya own Carson, I think. Um, it was actually said, oh, bringing back the feeling of the old Technic Plus. I actually said that on the website. It's trying to compare itself to this. You can see it does have the slightly rounded edges. Um, just no. Just no. It's way lighter. And it's not very well made. Um, this is the throttle stick, also known as the uppy downy stick. And look how much lefty righty movement is on it. This is the lefty righty stick. Look how many up and downy movement is on it. That's up and down movement on the throt on the steering stick. It's horrific. You can feel it as you're trying to drive the model. It's they're move they're actually doing circles. They're moving all over the place. It's horrible. Um, again, you've got uh, you've got steering dual rate, which is good. You don't get throttle dual rate. I don't really need throttle dual rate. Steering dual rate is fine. So it's got the features you want. Apart from can't set the throttle back, throttle stick back. Also, it's just it's not very well made, and it bothers me. Like for example, if you've got the uh, steering trim here, there's more resistance that way than there is that way. The resistance gets more and more this way and less and less that way. You can actually hear it. It just gets grindy to one side. It's just the fact that it's inconsistent, the fact that there's differences left to right, just ugh. Um, and the ergonomics just fall short as well. It's, it, this, it is rounded. Like I say, trying to be this, not as rounded of course, but it's flat that way, you know, you don't have the nice thumb indentations. And if the, the curve there had continued onward and cut these corners off, it would be so much nicer, but as it is, the corners are sort of in your in your hand, uncomfortably, it's, it's not great. Um, this one fell short. So I'm still looking for a modern one of these, but with steering dual rate. But there is hope in the horizon. There is hope in the horizon because I have in here the Futaba 2HR system, specifically the transmitter in here, the two, T2HR, sorry, the T2HR transmitter. This might be the modern ACOM Techni ACOM's Technic Plus that I've been looking for. Possibly. Possibly. It's rounded looking. It has... Dual rate adjustment, on the steering anyway. And you can set the throttle stick back. Apparently you've got to sort of take it apart a little bit to do that, but this could be it. Please be built properly. It's for tablet, it should be built properly. Now, I've never opened this box, so let's see. <laughs> okay, so this is the full system. It has this receiver in it as well. Please be good, please be good, please be good, please be good. Ooh, it's definitely rounded. It's definitely rounded. Look at that. Rounded. Not too dissimilar. Also, it does have the 
fatter bits at the sides. Not as fat or as uh, smooth as these. See, you see what I mean by the fatter bits? In here, and in here. A bit like a, I'll tell you what it reminds me of, hold on. Reminds me of that, nice ergonomic uh, computer controller. This is the Nintendo uh, Switch Pro controller. See, so it's got the, the chunky bits, and that's what people like. That's what it reminds me of. That's what this feels like. So, please be good. Please be good, please be good. Yeah, okay, yeah. Still not feeling it as much as this. It's a better shape than the one I've been using. Definitely a better shape. It's a bit light at the moment, but there's no batteries in it, so that'll, that'll probably help. Yeah, I can feel it. You know what's good about these? You may notice that the sticks are not straight up and down here, straight left and righty, which is obviously a technical term. This stick is at an angle, it's diagonal slightly. Because if you hold your hands like that and push your thumbs forward, your thumb does actually go out that way a little bit. It's not completely straight forward. So actually that's that's more natural feeling. If I push my thumb forward on that, I'm not basically, <laughs> Fighting's the wrong word, but yeah, it actually feels more natural to have it slightly offset. And same with the same with the steering one; it's slightly at an angle, so that's good. I like that. Nice switch action. Um, can I handle? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I'm feeling it. I am. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm. Hmm. Maybe should we should. Maybe we should put some batteries in it and uh, see what it feels like then. And yeah, see the batteries are mounted to the front. Also, you take the battery cover off to get to the uh, throttle and steering reverse switches, which is unusual. But I suppose it keeps the the aesthetic clean. Yeah, door closes nice. Let's see then. No noises, just a light. You know what would be really nice? If it had the old ACOMS Technic Plus traffic light system. I love the traffic lights. The traffic lights are awesome. But anyway, you can't have it all. So there we are. Looks like a robo budgie. Do you not think? See? Budgie's beak. Ah, it's robo budgie. No? Okay. Um, Dual rate control. Lots. Of, yeah, it's quite resistant. I like that. It's, there's no sloppiness to it at all. Are there? Is there any? Is, is there any slop? Is there slop? Not are there slop? Is there slop in the sticks? None. Oh, thank goodness. No slop at all. No left and right slop on the throttle. No up and downy slop on the steering. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I'm feeling this. I am feeling this. How on earth do I? Reverse the, well not reverse, but set that back. Hmm. Hmm. Now, in the box, we do have whatever the hell this is. I actually thought it was a spare stick. It was sticking up like that. A spare thumb stick. But there's only one and it has a sort of screwdriver end to it. Huh. Here's the receiver. Bog standard affair. Nice enough. Black, which is nice because I'm going to eventually build a sort of stealth set of electronics for this because obviously I've got the bright orange receiver in at the moment and a green and silver motor. Black ESC, but a big, a big Coke can, a big silver can there. That's a smoothing capacitor for the speed controller. Um, eventually I want all black electronics just to keep the car stealthy looking. I'm not sure what that's for. It could be because you need to open it up Nope, I was going to say, that's those are Phillips, this is flathead, so it's not that. I have no idea what this is for, but let's find out how to set the stick back. Also in the box, a switch. So what you can do is plug your ESC cable into the switch, and then that end into your receiver, and you've actually added a switch to the system. Won't be using it, but, you know, nice feature. Right, apparently this thing is for pressing the link switch on the receiver. More importantly, yep, you do. You need to take out the four screws at the back and take the back off the transmitter in order to set the throttle stick back. So we'll do that. 
but it's odd because you know with most products if you take the back off it into, and get into the electronics inside that voids your warranty completely so but this is I'm assuming it doesn't on this one because to get at one of the features you've got to do this so a bit harsh for Taba if you void my warranty because I've done this but then maybe there's no evidence because there's no sticker to tear there's no do not remove the sticker sticker you know okay here we are Ooh. Uh. okay okay it's good it's fine don't worry nothing nothing's going wrong nothing's going wrong at all there's 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 nothing loose apart from quite a lot of stuff loose okay so I need to find the throttle position setting thing which is where exactly where is the so you lift I think you lift it ah okay help oh was that it that might be there, see the lights inside there beside my thumb, there's a wee, and uh, right there, just a little adjustment thingy. Adjust. Oh! oh. Come on, nope. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, there it is. Put this back down. It's impressive that there's no slot because you know, this doesn't even screw in this this piece. It just sits. There we go. And that's it. Sat in. Ha. 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 I love it. Right. Put it back together now. Where's the? Yeah. There it is. It's all good. Right then. I like it. It's not as much. There's not as much resistance in the uh, sticks as this car. This car, this transmitter, as the Acoms. No, there's not. It's lighter. It's got a lighter action, which some people will like. Some people will like that. I prefer a slightly heavier action on it. A little bit heavier. Yeah. So the car's rooting up. Okay, and it's more like the more like the Tamco or the Etronic Pulse. So it does have a lighter action. That'll be something to get used to. Um, but the stick has been set further back. I don't know if it's as far back. It's not as far back as the A comes. You can see that. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can see that. See, but that just gives you that little bit more control. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. It's got the build quality I want. It's got the ergonomics I want. It's got the features I want. It doesn't quite have as many features as this because this has also got um, dual rate adjustment on the throttle. This doesn't. I don't think. That's only reverse. No, it doesn't. But you don't, you don't need dual rate controlling the throttle for, for, from a race car. At what point would I ever want not full power? So... Perfect. What we'll do now to finish off is put it in the car and see if the delay I was getting from steering and throttle was due to the receiver, the old uh, Novak receiver, or if my Mtronic speed controller is just a little bit past it. Okay, this is the high tech. little bit of a delay. It's small but it's there. This car. Oh, this car. This car I got in Christmas of 2002. So it was 18 years old. Sweet as a nut. Okay, good. Let's try the Fudaba. 
Okay, this is only for testing purposes, so I know I'll tidy the wires up later. I'll need to be quick with the button press on the Mtronics to get it programmed. Here we go. Full throttle, neutral, reverse, neutral. Or brake neutral. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, hold on. Delay's gone. Perfect. It was the old uh, Novak. Not that it's got anything wrong with it, I think it's just things have moved on a little bit. That's an instant response from the servo. Perfect. And the throttle. The throttle had a small one as well, small delay. Awesome. So what's the verdict? Is this a modern Acom's Technicus? I gotta say, it's awesome. It's really good. I the, the, the ergonomics of the case are very good, but second still to this. The ergonomics of this case is still better. But, that off-centered stick throw means the actual throttle stick at full throttle, at full stretch, is more comfortable on the Futaba than it is on the Acom. The same with the steering. The stick location, because of those little angles, are just, they are better. They're better even than the Technipus. The action is a bit light. Yeah, we would like it a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit heavier action. Um, but apart from that, my only real complaint is Futaba. This was a fifty quid set, so where are my Futaba stickers? I am in the middle of making a new body shell for this car, and I don't have any Futaba stickers. What's that about? Apart from that, that response is so much better. Lovely. I'm so pleased. I've got to say, yes, yes, this is the modern equivalent of the old Acom's Techni Plus. I know it's a different company, but you know, the spiritual successor will say, even as nonsense, it's not, it's not, but you know, this, this is as close as you'll get from a 2.4 gigahertz system to this old transmitter. However, I would love if someone could fit 2.4 gigahertz gubbins to this because I know you can get these little kit things that can convert the signal and it's initially 27 megahertz and then it gets convert. I'm not interested in that. I mean, because that'll bring you know input lag if you have extra things on top and then it's converting it and all this fit. I mean, literally fitting 2.4 gigahertz stuff in this and ripping out the total 27 megahertz stuff. That would be awesome. I don't know if it's possible, but in the meantime, this is so good. This is so comfortable. I'm very pleased. Well done for Tabla. Just give me some stickers, would you? Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.